I know he handled I know he not only answered every question they asked him, but I know that he taught them something also. And I know when he left Mecca, we were one. I know there was unity and harmony because the man has been blessed with the ability to do that by God Almighty himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So our relationship to all Muslims, all people, no matter what color they are, who try to live by the law of God and the Quran, they are our brothers and sisters in the faith. Even white people who try to live by God's law and live by the Quran and live Islam, they are our brothers and sisters in the religion, in the faith but they are not our brothers and sisters by nature. Uh, their righteousness and their good is learned behavior. Our evil and our wickedness is learned behavior. Leave us alone and we'll be ourselves. We'll be righteous. Leave them alone and they'll be themselves. They'll be wicked. But Islam makes a difference in some of their lives. The Iranians are white people who try to live by the law of God. Yes, they do, and they are white people. Right. One of the main white men that I ever respected was Imam Khomeini. Yes, I respected him, right. and he respected us. Right. You remember how he let the black soldiers go when he was holding the hostages over there, American hostages? <laughs> he let the black soldiers go. <laughs> they wanted to kill us or keep us in the hostages. Keep us hostage over there. Khomeini say, let them go. These fools don't know what they're doing. They not know Americans. Let this fool go home. Maybe the fool will wake up on a long plane ride. They kept the white boys who they said were the real Americans, and they let the black one go. What is our relationship with them? They are brothers and sisters in the faith, but not by nature. What's our relationship with the whites over in Afghanistan who are fighting the powerful government, white government of Russia? They call them, the, the fighters there, the Mujahideen. Our relationship to, to the Mujahideen is that we are Mujahideen also. We are freedom fighters. We are revolution, religious revolutionaries. That where everything that we do, God is at the center of it. Everything, and we ain't got a chance without God against this beast. The scripture says, who is able to make war with the beast? But it also says, when God is for you, who can be against you? So we believe in the same five principles of Islam that all of the Muslims all over the world believe in. We practice Ramadan and observe Ramadan when they observe Ramadan, but we also observe another Ramadan in December. So if they say they have one Ramadan makes them purified, imagine how purified we're going to be with two Ramadans. <laughs> the Quran says if you're sick or on a journey, you can fast a like number of equal days in another month. And we are sick, been robbed as we can be, and we're on a journey. We over thousands of miles from our original spot and habitat, though the whole earth belongs to us. So they are our brothers and sisters by faith, but not by nature. And our African brothers and sisters and everybody else, I mean, that's family anyway. But uh, Islam is medicine. And you have to take the medicine according to what's wrong with you. You can't take the medicine like somebody else who don't have the problems we have, don't have the sickness that we have. Huh? That's right. We got to take it according to what our illness is, what our sickness is. And that's why God gave us the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. All right? Yes, sir. But Islam, too, comes from the nature of the black man and black woman. We gave Islam to the world. Islam didn't give us to the world. All of the major rituals of Islam point to us. When you go to Mecca, you kiss the black stone called Hajr al-Aswad, the black stone. It's set into the eastern corner of the Kaaba, which is the, uh, the uh, uh, El Rukin, the cornerstone. You kiss the black stone in Mecca, they won't even let the white stone be set up in Mecca. It has to be set up outside the holy city, outside the sacred precinct, six miles outside of Mecca in Mina, 
and it's the small devil, the medium-sized white devil, and the big white devil, and you gather 49 stones in the, in the valley of Muzdalifa, and you stone the white devil six miles outside of the holy city, and you kiss the black stone right in the heart of the holy city. God set it up that way. Call him a racist. He set it up that way. Call him a black Muslim. Uh, brother's hand up here. Sir, uh, in regards to the dollar bill, the pyramid with the eyeball, what does that stand for? The eye on the dollar bill stands for the all-seeing eye of God. The eye on the pyramid stands for the eye of uh, in uh, some scholars in some circles they say it represents the eye of Horus, but others go beyond that and they say it represents the all-seeing eye of Ptah. Ptah, the black god that we talked about earlier that you can find written in the hieroglyphics of the Medunetta 4,100 years to 5,000 years ago in the sacred city of Abydos in the holy temple of Seti Wan, uh, the first creation story. That eye represents the eye of Ptah. Yes, sir. How uh, black people here in Southern California, how should we perceive what's going on in Canada? Yes, sir. Well, sir, first of all, we should perceive we should perceive it cautiously. Listen to what I'm saying, and if you want to repeat after me after that, then do it. We should support, listen to it carefully. We should support whatever the enemy opposes and oppose whatever the enemy supports. Now, you want to say it with me? Let's say it together. We should support whatever the enemy opposes and oppose whatever the enemy supports. If the enemy is for it, you better check it out carefully because it ain't for you. If the enemy is against it, you better check it out real good because it's probably for you. Enemies say, stay away from Louis Farrakhan. You better run to him. Enemies say, get with this one or get with that one. You better run from them. Oh, all praise is due to him. Enemies say, get away from Anthony X Essex. You better check him out carefully. Right. Hmm? Right. None of us are perfect. If he has fault. He's come to try and get them straight, just like I, I got faults and you do too. We've come to get them straight. But what about all the Negroes that ain't trying? They still following the white man. Hanging on to his hairy, diseased, dirty, slimy ankles. Again, boot licking and butt licking. So Brother Panama, there's a lot that haven't been told in that thing yet. Before it's over, they want to get rid of Noriega. I ain't no lover of Noriega. You know, I don't care nothing about Noriega. Hell, I don't know Noriega. I care about Nori you. Noriega. Oh, Noriega. I'm not no defense counselor for Noriega. However, I don't like wrong. And this brazen beast has gone in to the sovereign ter the territory of a sovereign independent nation, violated their airspace, landed on their territory, and has gone in to depose their leader. Why? Because the lease is bound up on the Panama Canal. So the devil wants to have an excuse to still have some dibbing and dibbling and dabbling and control in this canal issue. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad had to take a similar test that was given to him by Master Farad Muhammad. You can read it in the problem book. You should have been here Wednesday night to hear the lecture of the Western Regional Minister and Representative of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, Minister Wazir Muhammad. He covered the whole Panama situation, or he covered it in a way where he gave you the keys to it. You can get that tape before leaving here today. He went into the problem book, where we talk about Panama in the problem book. He went into the lessons that were given to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad way back in the 30s on Panama. He took us all back in the, you can get that tape before you leave here today. But remember, brother, we should support whatever the enemy opposes and oppose whatever the enemy supports. Uh, 
He might have told Noriega to go and hide in the, 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 the Catholic uh, embassy or whatever the hell they call it.